MRSA infections are a serious infection caused by staph bacteria, and they spread very rampantly through places like hospitals, surgical areas, uh, elderly homes, and they are resistant to antibiotics, which makes them a huge pain and a huge trouble uh, to many people. Uh, but some researchers believe they found a remedy to stop it, actually, in an ancient book, which is very surprising. Uh, the recipe goes, take crop leek and garlic of both equal quantities, pound them well together, take wine and bollocks gall, mix with the leek, let it stand nine days in the brass vessel. <laughs> That's uh, it's said to read it that way. You sound like a weird mix between <laughs> Bane and yeah. Deckard Cain. I sound like Bane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bane and Deckard Cain mixed together. I was pots. trying to be old timey. It, I got, I got what you This you're came from uh, microbiologists at the University of N Nottingham, UK, uh, who decided to test this recipe. Um, it turns out Bullock's gall is actually cow bile. So nice. Tight. Mix all of those horrible, well, not they're not horrible. Garlic is okay. I don't know what crop leek is, but it's probably a leek. Uh, wine, bile. Nice. <laughs> Let it stand nice, for nine nice. days in the grass. <laughs> And uh, they used this, made this potion, tested on, on scraps of skin taken from mice infected with uh, the, the, the staph aureus. And this is an antibiotic resistant version of the bacteria that causes styes. So this was more to, to, to treat styes. Well, it was originally meant to treat styes, but they found that it fought the staphylococcus. How did they come to this? How did, like, who tested this to find, figure this out? Like, how did we get, yeah, I'm saying, how did we get all the way back to this Anglo-Saxon remedy from, like, you know, our current studies of it, you know. So, I mean, let's research try this. goes in many directions. This one went to the old English medical compendium called Bald's Leech Book, which sounds trusty to me. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy that they found this like in something old, but I guess like if it being old, it'd be like a natural remedy, so it'd make more sense. Than the ingredients sound like it could kill you, but I see why it kills the sickness. It sounds the like sickness. they were cooking to me, but with something kind of gross. <laughs> it's like, let this sit and marinate for Nine Ever. days. Yeah. So I you had to smell that for yeah. nine days. Uh, some of the scientists did make note of that, that it started to smell. And then after oh, a while, they gross. called it a loathsome slime. So this is the cure. First, it was supposed to cure sty. So you have yeah. to rub this on your eye. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but then they found that it, it does actually combat uh, MRSA, which is something that we have issue with. Hmm. And it's crazy this was found in such an old book uh, for some, some other purpose. Yeah. And, and, you know, it just goes to show you that when it comes to curing, you know, diseases, it can be pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. You know, freaking, if you guys ever heard of this, another disease that goes around in hospitals quite often is C. diff. Mm -hmm. And the way you cure C. diff right now is to get a fecal transplant. So you're basically getting shit injected inside of you. You know, that saved a lot of lives, though. Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, my God. It did. You would be shocked how many things uh, contain urea, which is obviously from derived from urine. Yeah. <laughs> so that's fine. That makes sense. Uh, this is not the first uh, modern drug to be derived from ancient manuscripts. Uh, there was also a ma anti-malaria drug uh, called artemisin, artemisinin, and it was discovered by scouring historical Chinese texts. So, wow. you know what? Yeah. Let's look to history yeah. sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, there's some things we... This is so disgusting. I mean, but I guess, what are the after effects? There's no after effects, mm -hmm. so it's all natural. I mean, it makes sense because, you know, we use herbs and stuff, but I having a fecal transplant, who, who thinks of that? It I worked. mean, yeah, it worked. It worked. It worked. I mean, you know I, what? I'm not going to argue with results. If it saves lives, let's do it. There has yeah. to be a why and how. I just want to know how we missed this. If this has been around for so long and this is like an ancient remedy, how, why is it taking us this long to go back and dig this up? Well, they tried in 2005. It didn't work out so well, uh, but it was successful this time. Hmm. So research. Maybe it's just the way Fire our biology. Error. Maybe it's our biology to the world and how that's evolved. What do you yeah. think about finding... This ancient cure, well, not necessarily cure, a remedy that helps kill MRSA in, of all places, an ancient book that would treat uh, styes with all these weird ingredients. Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.